fantastic question. Now, flexibility is very important because it allows you, uh, you know, to make more or make less, depend on, um, you know, your strategy. For instance, say like, um, you know, if you want to uh, use a bioreactor to make a certain size uh, of a batch, then you have to plan on, you know, either you make uh, for yourself, uh, having your own facility, or if you contract out to a CMO, so that you have to have in mind, hey, you know, uh, I need to have a window because uh, that is the best case uh, to build in flexibility. If you don't have a window, suggesting that uh, you will get into constraints. Uh, okay, so this number one thing is the regulatory uh, side of it because every country would have a different uh, regulatory uh, strategy. So you have to understand, for instance, if you want to launch a product in US, you have to understand the US uh, regulation. If you want to launch a product in Europe, you need to understand that. If you want to, un uh, if you want to launch a product in China, you have to understand the, the Chinese regulation. So understanding these kinds of regulation, it would uh, you know, serve the company, uh, company much better uh, in the future. Okay, so this number one thing is their process. Now a lot of clients, even though that uh, they have a process, or they will hire a consultant, uh, you know, to provide this exp uh, expertise. However, uh, you have to understand your process in order to do it right the first time. So doing it right the first time is absolutely critical. Otherwise, you are going to waste a lot of time and resource uh, in the future. We always say that, hey, we don't have a lot of time and therefore we need to uh, be hurry. However, we always have time to do everything over again, and that is the, uh, the no-no. The reason is that the market is so dynamic. For instance, say like about five to six years ago, uh, basically we have a lot of empty uh, capacity. For instance, uh, at that time I was introducing uh, uh, ABAC, uh, you know, fermentation uh, system into China. And basically I was told that at that, uh, at that time Baojun has tons of uh, empty capacity and uh, Baojun was asking ABAC to help them out how to scale down from a 20,000 liter tank to a 5,000 liter tank. And nowadays, you know, basically the world market uh, has changed a lot. Uh, even Samsung, they are building uh, one of the world's largest uh, biopharmaceutical uh, manufacturing facility. However, if you are going to sign uh, a contract with Samsung right now, you have to wait three years uh, before they can start a project for you. So that is how uh, you know, tight it is. And, and therefore, it's difficult to forecast. Uh, actually, they need to know, uh, you know uh, what market they are going to enter. For instance, um, if their priority is to enter the U.S. market, suggesting that uh, you know, they need more capacity and they need to build on uh, you know, to their strategy. Because uh, as of today, U.S. is the largest uh, you know, by country uh, pharmaceutical market. And the second largest is China. And if they want to enter China, they have a uh, totally different strategy. And if they want to enter uh, the EU market, and they have to have another strategy also. Okay, so uh, in order to achieve that goal, the CMO has to uh, have, have to have an open minded. So you have to have you know constantly communication with uh, your customer and make sure that um, you know you pre uh, you do your homework. Make sure that uh, the CMO understand the worldwide regulatory uh, uh, you know guidance and also the market, and that is very important. And also you have to understand uh, your client's uh, capability too. You know, some client, you know, like Big Pharma, you know, they have a lot of uh, capability because, you know, they have a, a fantastic group of people, uh, you know, to get a drug from the bench into market. But for a lot of the startup, uh, they have an idea, but uh, they don't have, you know, any uh, clinical trial or commercial manufacturing capability. So you have to bear in mind that, uh, you know, so that uh, your client, you know, uh, your client base is very diverse and therefore you need to, pre uh, you need to be prepared to tackle uh, every aspect.